Yo, yo, what's up, man? Hey, need some help? DJ, let's get everyone over here and get started. J effort. Fellas, come on now. Next time, man. Next time. All right, DJ, let's get everyone over here and get started. Finish strong. Hey, hit me up.
All right, DJ, let's get everyone over here and get started. Okay there, DJ. The way you're playing, time, you gotta be Next sick. Time. It's the 2K Sports pregame show. Hey, Ernie Johnson here, and I'm joined by Kenny the Jet Smith and Shaquille O'Neal. Welcome to the NBA on 2K Sports. And our coverage tonight at the American Airlines Center, where the Dallas Mavericks will be going up against the New Orleans Pelicans. And for New Orleans, they split the season series against these guys last season, two games apiece. Should be a good one tonight. Remember, when the New Orleans Pelicans were sold in 2012, the new ownership was eager to compete, trading for veteran talent to complement the number one overall pick, Anthony Davis. Aside from a single playoff appearance, though, it's been mixed results. Oh, Kenny. mixed result, because sometimes when you try to take shortcuts, you get shortcutted and stuck. Ooh. And that's what happened. That's and good life advice. No question. You can't take shortcuts to greatness. No. You have to. There's yeah. another one. There's another jewel. Yeah. I tell you, let me <laughs> give you another jewel. one. There's another jewel. You just want me mining one more? for nuggets over here. I'll give here. you one yes. more. Yeah, give me one. An ounce of prevention is a worth better than a pound, pound of, of cure. There it is. There's another one. Yeah. There's An a apple question. a day keeps the doctor, Cereal doctor away. away. Oh, no. Yeah. Well, obviously, it doesn't because we both had apples, but you're still here. Yeah. And you know those memories of losing Chris Paul are still fresh. They're going to have to start winning to keep Davis around. Chris that's, Paul? No, that's like 15 years yeah, ago. It doesn't man. matter. The memories are still there. Man, oh. I forget what we were even talking about. Give me another old adage there. I got one. The memory is still there. The like bigger the they are, in the, air. the harder they fall. Mm-hmm. Hey, I am telling y'all, man, this boy is going to be a star, man. He made this song. It's so hot. Hey, hey, DJ, DJ, man, hurry up. Come here. What's you got to hear this song, Lil' Jug Drop. It's oh, yeah? so fire. Do it, Jug. Do it. All right, I got it. you. I'm going to hit you with just the chorus, okay? Ooh, the chorus. Okay. You know yeah, I got you. <laughs> <laughs> Young DJ, call me rookie of the year. Do a spin move, might just end your whole career. I'm with Jamie, he's a legend of the game. A legend. They love me, they be calling out my name. Hey, 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 What is going on up in here? What is, Brandon, get you and your mop out of here right now. Sorry, coach. All right, we got a game to prepare for. I want to see everybody focus here, okay? We have a game and a few. Right. I need to see people watching film, you know? Film, 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 Mentally film. preparing themselves. Prepare. Gotcha. Get out there and shoot around if you yes, have to. Shoot already. around. Yes, you got coach. Got gotcha, you, coach. Yeah. We're going to be out there. Because, see, that's what I like to hear, Shannon. Because I'm the coach and I make all the rules. <laughs> hey, man, where did he come from? You got me in trouble. That's what you did. Hello, everyone. Welcome to another exciting broadcast of the NBA on 2K Sports. Kevin Harlan here with Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg, and our sideline reporter is David Aldridge. So for the Mavericks, their last game, a loss to the Clippers. And that was a real body blow for them. They got taken apart both offensively and defensively. Yeah, and in a hostile environment, they did not rise to the occasion, especially on the defensive side. Yeah, there was no shine on that effort. Really lackluster. Their D was nowhere to be found. 
And as things get ready to roll, let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's on the sideline. David? Well, guys, we know that DJ is a nickname for the rookie, but here's some background on how he got that name. He was initially going to follow his dream of being a DJ instead of pursuing basketball. He is still very much involved in music, and he's indicated it's a passion he'll keep up even while he's in the NBA. Guys? Good stuff, David. So many former NBA players have put out albums or been involved with music one way or another. Clark, you've talked about this a lot, the the changes, the biggest differences from playing college basketball to pro basketball. Without question, Kevin, a couple of the biggest differences for me were the speed of the game and the quality of the players on the court. That was really something that I was aware of, but it hit me right between the eyes as I got going. And then the other thing was the travel and schedule. I hit a wall after about 60 games and was really a dead man walking for about 10 days before my legs came back and I finished that. On the Mavericks with some changes, Noel comes in for measure, and DJ subbed in for Dirk Nowitzki. Drew Holiday's checked in for New Orleans. So for New Orleans right now, the bigs inside, Davis and Cousins. Holiday out there with Rajon Rondo, and it's Miller in at the three spot. The Pelicans trail, and New Orleans pushing it up now. Nice shot by Rondo. Rondo's got his first two points of the night. And Rondo, as good as it gets in transition, whether he's shooting or passing, he tends to make the right decision. DJ dishes to Barnes. Dallas moving the ball around. Berea kicks to DJ. Just five to shoot. Foul call that time on the way up. That'll give him two chances at the free throw line here. And guys, what stands out to me the most of DJ's whole journey here to the NBA is that he was discovered in a street ball competition. I don't know what kind of show he put on, but apparently it was enough to get a camp invite. Seth Curry, he's checked in for the Mavericks. Smith comes in for J.J. Barea. New Orleans also making some changes. Solomon Hill, he's checked in for Anthony Davis. And it's Etwan Moore checking in for Rajon Rondo. And the rejection by Cousins. And at nearly seven feet tall, Cousins is a legitimate shot-blocking threat, using that reach to deter shots. And, and that's good stuff from him. Nice touch. The New Orleans Pelicans come into this one after the win against Minnesota. And, and that was not an easy game for them. I mean, they barely hung on at the end of regulation before they were able to pull it out in overtime. And it could turn out to be one of their biggest wins of the season. I mean, just because of the way they came through when it mattered most. That's that's clutch play that could serve them well going forward. Moore passes to Cousins over Noel. And he overshot that one, missing. The fadeaway was the right shot there because it got his attempt away from the defender. But the touch was poor. And it's DJ missing. Pelicans leading by six. Holiday with it. And it's Miller in the corner. Yes, and it's Holiday with the assist that time. Miller's got five. And it just seems that every pass they make is leading to a score. Just great ball movement. DJ kicks to Smith. He dishes it to DJ. Curry passes to Cowan. Curry on the wing. Covered by Miller. And the basket by Curry. I gotta admire that vision now. Like how DJ scans the floor in order to find the open man and does it well. Cousins with a screen for Holiday. He kicks it to Miller. Now the dish to Cousins. Over Noel. Cousins missing again. Mavericks trail by seven. And here is DJ. He's coming off a 13-point game against the Clippers. And equally impressive on the backboards. I thought his rebounding was huge. Noel sets a screen for Curry. His shot is good, making him a perfect two for two from the floor. Yeah, another nice bucket down low. They've really been able to work the ball into the post effectively here so far. Outside Holiday. 
And no good that time. Now Dallas takes it the other way and going against New Orleans, their first meeting of the year. And two teams here that were evenly matched a season ago as they split the season series. Yeah, they'd settle for 500 against most teams. Both squads win challenge, perhaps a way to put it. But one of them has got to win tonight. Cousins against Noel. A shot by Holiday. Nobody around. Good. And it's Cousins picking up the assist. Their third three-pointer in a row. Adjustment time for these guys. The defense has to make some adjustment here. Here's Barnes. And count it. He'll head to the line with a chance to make it three. Those defenders just look a little bit gassed. I mean, they're getting pushed around on that low block. Alexis Aginsa has checked in for New Orleans. Jordan Crawford comes in for Darius Miller. Holiday dishes to Hill. Smith against Holiday. And Moore kicks to Hill. Crawford outside. Hill a screen on Barnes. Off the pick. Here's Aginsa. And the rebound paying off as they pick up two on the second chance bucket right there. The tenacity on that interior, just battling, bringing that effort and will for second chance points. EJ passes to Noel. This is to Smith. But Trey rebounded by Agensa. Pelicans leading by five. Well, you hear a lot of disparaging, hating remarks directed towards jump shooting teams, but the Mavericks make no apologies. I mean, that's their game offensively, and that's their story, and they're sticking to it. New Orleans has gone four of eight on their three-point attempts, doing a lot of work from way outside. Here in the first quarter, from deep, Moore. It's rebounded by Dallas. We've got 113 left here in the first quarter, and that one is good. Hey, just give Noel the rock in the post, and he knows what to do from there. Excellent presence in the low post. Well, for New Orleans, shooting 36% in this first quarter, trying to get their bearings. Agensa kicks to Crawford. New Orleans moving it around. There's the pick. Outside Holiday gets the three-pointer to fall. Holiday's got nine points. Mavericks trail by six. Smith kicks to DJ. Feeds to Barnes. Hill pulls it in. And, and typically he has the touch to finish when he's in tight, but not sure on that possession. Pass to Crawford over Curry. And Crawford with the basket on the assist by Hill. And now it's an eight-point Pelican lead. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. Here's Crawford. A chance to extend the lead to double digits, but it's no good. Here's Barnes. Finished off the break. 11 points in the game. One thing you don't want to let Barnes do is get comfortable in the open floor. I mean, he's outstanding at running past the opposition in transition. And the foul on Dennis Smith Jr. That is his first foul of the game. Here's Hill. And so it's the New Orleans Pelicans with their lead standing at six points here at the end of the quarter. They've been shutting down DJ, clearly trying to keep him from having a big night. You don't get a name like DJ without having a love for music. Here's what he had to say about his other passion. That's a good question. Um, music played a very important part of my life. As a kid, I used to like make beats and then slowly I transitioned into DJing. I mean, so much so that early on in my college career, I decided to focus solely on music. And the music scene was great. I really enjoyed myself, I learned a lot. But it felt like music called me and then basketball was calling me back. So I decided to focus all my energy on basketball. And it led me here. And it's been a wild ride, um, but you know, I learned a lot, and I'm just excited to see what the future holds for me. 
And he has made a lot of fans happy with that choice. Yeah, I believe it's good for players to have an interest off the court as it can kind of give you some balance. Uh, seems he has reinvigorated his love for basketball, though, and that's a good thing. And now the second quarter just getting set to start. And guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown so far for New Orleans. Boy, the three-point shot has really been dropping for him early on. And also, how about the fact defensively they're getting that backboard and getting out in transition, especially in this first half. So for New Orleans right now, they've got each one more. Alexis Aginsa is out there with Solomon Hill. Then it's Holiday, and it's Crawford at the shooting guard. Defensive rebounding, just such a crucial part of the game. Yeah, it's finishing your defense, Greg. We know that. You can defend, then you got to rebound the miss, and you got to get to the glass with intensity. Measury, he's checked in for Dallas. Davis is checked in for the Pelicans. Farrell passes to DJ. Measury with it to the left wing. Here's Wells. Good on the three point shot. Wells has got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. Hey, Wells is simply an offensive machine, and he's really confident shooting off the catch. Right side, Davis. Over Noel, and a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. Greg from his one-and-done season at Kentucky, leading college basketball in block shots. We knew Anthony Davis could dominate defensively, but did you have any idea he'd be this good offensively? None. I mean, well, I mean, with his length and athleticism, you knew he'd have an impact as a finisher. But the way his shooting has developed, it has been remarkable. Now, granted, this was a guy that at one point was recruited to play point guard coming out of high school, but he's playing more like a shooting guard with his skill set. And let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. Well, guys, the Pelicans do have their challenges, but Anthony Davis remains committed to winning in New Orleans. He said, I love it here. I don't plan on leaving. Yes, I fit into that old school category where I want to try to win where I start my career. That's always been a goal of mine. My goal is to bring a championship here. Kevin? And David, loyalty does go a long way. Davis is a perfect guy to build your team around. He wants to win. Now, here's DJ. T right on him. Passes it to Farrell. They set the pick. A three-pointer, no good. New Orleans leading by seven. Outside Hill. And Holiday kicks to Hill. Shot from the wing. Measury with the rebound. Like the shot selection. They couldn't cash in with no defense in the area, but still, they'll take that shot every day and for a month of Sunday. Yeah, that's back-to-back -back threes. The D just seems to be slacking off a little bit. Holiday dishes to Hill. Yes, and it's Holiday with the assist that time. Holiday's got three assists in the game. Mavericks trail by seven. Here's Farrell. He hasn't scored yet. That, I'm sure, will change. Tell you what, guys, his size really comes into play when there's a rebound battle going on. He's got an advantage in there. And stolen by Noel. Floats one up, and Davis sends it back. Boy, I tell you what, Davis uses his length so well. I mean, a defensive stalwart who holds his ground, and because of his timing and length and athleticism, he's an excellent shot blocker. Now, well, Clark, we know one thing. You are a connoisseur of scoring in the post. Which players, in your opinion, do you love to watch go to work? New Orleans gone outside a lot tonight. 17 times, in fact. 7 of 17. Rondo kicks to Miller. The feed to Cousins. Moore outside. There's Miller with the three. Score the basket. His fourth. He's only missed one of his five shots tonight. The D just sagged off just enough and no hesitation on his part. Outside Curry. Now the pass to Nowitzki. And right away, they match it with a three-pointer of their own. Nowitzki's got seven points in the game. Smith against Rondo. Doubled by Smith. 
kick out to Moore. And he can't answer back. The three-pointer offline. The Mavericks trail it. Pass to Cowens. Out to Smith. Over Rondo. And it's Smith missing. They've been doing a great job of sharing the ball. And guys, shot A comes to mind for me because right now that offense, it's a smooth operator. Rondo against Smith. Rondo kicks to Miller. Clock at four. Screen by Cousins. From deep, Moore. Rebound by Smith. The Mavericks shooting at 51%. Really so. Barnes outside. Screen by Smith. Outside for Curry. There's a screen. Barnes can't get it to go. And you know what? You can't get a better screen. Freeze him up beautifully, but he just fails to capitalize. Clearly a frustrating missed opportunity there. Perfect screen. Got him the space he needed, but he bricked it. Really left alone that time. 13 points in the game. He has created some terrific opportunities for himself and really made the most of them. Smith, the pass to Cowens. We've got 22 seconds left to play here in the second quarter. Kicks to Nowitzki. Moore against Curry. And stolen by Miller. Allen outside. And it's Rondo in the corner. Over Smith. No good on the buzzer beater. I like seeing Smith use his good speed and quick hands to bother shooters. And it's always good to see young players getting after it on the defensive end. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thank you, Kevin. Here with Alvin Gentry. Coach, you're leading at the half. What will you continue to emphasize to your team? Well, I mean, defensively, we still have to be good. we got to rebound the basketball. And then we've got to continue to push the basketball and score offensively. We'll see if you can keep that going in the second half, Coach. Thanks. Back to you. Thank you, David, for that interview. And we'll see you back here after the break. And now the start of the second half. Neither side jumping out ahead through the first two quarters. Mavericks will go for a different look here. Merlin's Noel checks in for Measury. DJ comes in for Dirk Nowitzki. Wells, he's checked in for Wesley Matthews. And Yogi Ferrell subbed in for J.J. Barea. A big group substitution here for New Orleans. Alexis Aginsa has checked in for Cousins. Anthony Davis comes in for Miller. Jordan Crawford's checked in for Allen. And it's Holiday in for Rajon Rondo. Farrell is out there with Wells. Then there's Harrison Barnes. Then it's DJ. And it's Noel in at the center locking down the middle. That's the lineup out there for the Mavericks. Holiday with the three. Offensive rebound. Aginsa. And the rejection by Noel. And you can just see Noel's eyes light up when a shooter attempts these shots. He's so forceful and determined in his denial. DJ kicks to Wells. A three-pointer off the mark. New Orleans leading by five out of bounds. Out of Dallas bounds. takes possession. And a look now at the breakdown between three-point and two-point shots attempted here tonight for the Pelicans. Morris checked in for Solomon Hill. Now here's Wells. He's got nine. It's DJ atop the key. In the corner, Farrell. DJ with it. Moore's there. Five on the clock. Farrell kicks to DJ. But they get it back. Over to the left wing. Wells dishes to DJ. Some nice passing here by Dallas. Pass to Farrell. Barnes outside. Offensive rebound, Mavericks. New Orleans in the lead. And Holiday kicks to Ajinsa. The dish now to Holiday. Crawford passes to Davis. He feeds it to Crawford. 
He kicks it to Holiday for three. And again, New Orleans has no luck. And the New Orleans Pelicans last season with one of the worst offensive rebounding percentages in history. Yeah, I mean, it improved somewhat with DeMarcus Cousins coming in. But I think really it's the team's philosophy, though. They, they value getting back in transition more than they value a chance to attack that offensive glass. Moore with the steal. And count it. He'll head to the line with a chance to make it three. And what's your take, guys, in the hustle stats for the Pelicans? The activity level defensively, I I've really been impressed with. They've been an attack mode on the defensive end. You know, adding on to that, you look at their block totals tonight, and you see how feisty they've been on the defensive end this game. Catching up on the changes for Dallas. Seth Curry, he's checked in for Harrison Barnes. And Smith subbed in for Farrell. Davis sets a screen. And stolen by DJ. Foul call that time on the way up. That'll give him two chances at the free throw line here. Taking a look here at the numbers for Curry. Last season's performance for him. Averaged about 13 points per. Two assists and two rebounds. And, and some pretty good numbers, guys. He's certainly making a contribution. Better than expected. He still has a ways to go. But I like what I'm seeing right now. Screen by Cousins. And Holiday kicks to Cousins. It's Crawford on the wing. He dishes it to Davis. Lock at six over Collins. And Davis can't get it to go. Mavericks trail by five. Now DJ out to Smith. Beyond the arc. Bangs home the trifecta. Smith's got five now. And I tell you what, if the defender is not on Smith before the pass, it's too late because he's always ready to fire and he burns you. Cousins dishes to Holiday. Cousins with a screen for Holiday. And again, New Orleans has no luck. And, you know, it hasn't been his night, but his team still leads, so that's encouraging. They now take the lead. Wells has got the lead up to one now for the man. And really, as the three-pointers keep dropping, you get the sense that the frustration is mounting for the defense. Yeah, and they either have been unwilling or unable to take that shot away. Davis setting the pick for Holiday. Crawford left side. Offensive rebound. Here's Dallas. They've got a 10-0 run going. Wells kicks to DJ. Dishes it to Wells. Feeds to Noel. Fires high post. Passes it to Curry. Kicks it to DJ. Let's it go from the wing. Out of bounds. New Orleans will take possession. And a chance here to see the numbers for Davis. Great showing for him last season. Second in blocks. Fourth in scoring. And he also finished the season in the top ten in rebound. It's just a terrific year on the glass. And as you said, just a notch below the leader in blocks last season, he gives a tremendous effort. Absolutely one of the best rim protectors in the league. The Mavericks leading. DJ with it. Picked up by Davis. DJ kicks to well. No good on the triple. Something that's kept this game close is the fact that the rebound stats for both teams are almost identical. The battle to a standstill on the boards has really been something to watch, and the game's not over yet. We'll see if one of these teams maintains more energy than the other going down the stretch. Crawford outside. It's good. The assist that time from Holiday. Holiday's got five assists in the game. Dallas has gone three of seven from three-point range here in quarter number three. Curry passes to DJ. Smith up top. That shot no good. Holiday with the defensive effort. And Moore kicks to Holiday. The shot goes down. Very quick possession right there. Now it's a four-point Pelican lead. There's a minute 34 left in the third quarter of the game. Here's DJ. 
drains it from beyond the arc. Cowens has got five points in the quarter. Hey, sometimes you just got to respect the fact he can make contested shots. DJ showing superb focus and concentration in the face of some pretty aggressive defense. And Holiday kicks to Moore. Trying to find Davis. He's got it now. And it's Davis with the jam. Oh, just solid on the one-handed slam. And guys, when it's a tight ball game like this, he's the guy they want with the ball. Somebody you can count on. He is an extremely reliable finisher. DJ sets the screen for Smith. It's DJ atop the key. Six to shoot. Smith with it. And Holiday picks him up defensively. Smith, no good. And you know what? He's just not on his game, no doubt about it. Their deficit isn't totally on him, but he has not been an asset for his team. And Moore kicks to Cousins. The Mavericks pull it in. Noel's got six rebounds here tonight. Wells wide open. Another three for Dallas. And he's on his way to putting up a big three-point total. Outside Holiday, the feed to Moore. Cousins with a screen on Smith. Davis dishes to Cousins. Tried to answer back, but that three is off the mark. And so it's Shammy Wells making things happen for the Mavericks. And with his work in that quarter, he has five three-pointers in the game now. Quite a showing from long range. We'll take a quick break and then back to the action here. Rick Carlisle had some words for his team. Let's hear what he had to say. You gotta have a presence in the land, remember. No laps, no laps, no laps. Rick Carlisle making rim protection. So a close game sees Dallas taking this one. It was up for grabs right until the final seconds. Yeah, and for me, Kevin, what stood out is just the, the overall. Baby, yeah, good one, Woohoo! Man, this must be what jewel thieves feel like after the heist. Man, I would love to be a jewel thief. Just start the car, bro. <laughs> you know what's funny? When I was a kid watching ball, I used to love close games. Fans still love them, I guess. Me, I just hate them. I'd rather we just blow teams out. You know, that's great veteran advice. Why don't we just blow teams out? Why didn't I think of that? You know, that would really revolutionize the game of basketball. If we just blew teams out. Wouldn't it? That simple. Mm. Just blow teams out. See, Boo Boo stands by it. Hey, yo. Hello. Yo, are you open? Uh, um, uh, would you like a juice? Yeah, if it's not too much trouble. Uh, what's your stanconia? Apple, lemon, ginger, and almond juice. All right, I'll get one of those. Cool. Cool. 
<sighs> I was napping. Yeah, I saw that. Nap as soon as you get tired, right? I mean, that's what our hunter-gatherer ancestors used to do. Wherever I am, whatever I'm doing, if I'm tired, <sighs> take a nap. I mean, how do you think cavemen used to live to 150 years old? I'm pretty sure that's not true. Look, right now we're out of some of my best stuff, but I'm sure you'll love this one. My juices are designed specifically to give you a little bit of extra energy. Oh, really? Absolutely. So, come back when you're worn out and looking to put in a little extra work with the team. I'm a big fan, by the way. Been watching you for a bit. A word? No, not really. But I know who you are. I'm Derek, by the way. Namaste. Huh. Namaste, Derek. That was actually pretty good. I'll see you around, man. Yo, DJ, we've been waiting for you, man. Yeah, Brian I'm sorry. Sweating bullets, I'm yo. So, I'm sorry I'm late. Spinelli was telling me his old dormant stories of working for the queen or whatever. I feel that. Those was good times, you know what I'm saying? But you ain't got to apologize to me, man. I ain't got nothing else to do. Unless you want me to go in there, play some hardball. You know what I'm saying? Negotiate, get the dollar signs up, you feel me? I seen it on TV. Give them the squints, you know what I'm saying? And never back down. You with it? B, you know what? Why don't you chill out here, all right? Brian likes to keep things real professional. Come and on. there's a reason why he's on payroll. You sure? Yeah, I'm sure. I'm a secret weapon. I can close the deal. I'll fill you in after, all right? All right, holla at me. Stay up. Your company's roster's bonkers. DJ so Hey, late. everybody. Look, sorry I'm late. Speaking of the Julie, devil, sorry. here's the man of the hour. Man, what's up? Where, where are you? They're going to walk out. It's a long walk, man. Let's do this. All right. So glad you took the time out to meet oh, with no, us. Oh, no, thank you. I promise you it will be well worth it. Hey, nice to meet we you, bro. In the end, you will strongly consider signing with hey. Under Armour. Got a good feeling about it. So look, DJ, I just want to say we are super excited about the prospect of signing you. We already have some of the greatest up-and-coming athletes in the world on our team. Stephen Curry, right, just to right. throw one out there. Not to mention, we have MVP winners in baseball and football, plus the very best in tennis and golf. Our brand is about creating product that will help you take your game as far as it can go. Right, well, how do we ensure that DJ remains a top priority at this company if he does sign? Because, you know, we don't want him to get lost in the shuffle of all the other faces. Totally, absolutely understandable. Look, at Under Armour, we know and embrace the fact that we work for you and not the other way around. See, I like that, I like DJ, that. DJ, we will do whatever it takes to make sure you feel like a top priority. Ooh. I don't know what our competitors are offering you, but on the cash side of our deal, I can guarantee you we're willing to go higher than any of them. Now, that's what I'm talking yeah, about. Whoa, my leg Start fell asleep Start on the dotted here. line. Yeah, right, now, right. you want to you wanna understand that what he means to say is that we are looking at a lot of offers here, and we would really be excited to see what you guys have to offer. Right. Okay, okay. When can that happen? I can send right. an offer over in the next few days. Yeah. Remember, you're getting paid to wear our gear both in NBA games and when you're just playing out on the streets. That's perfect. Cool. Sound good? Yeah, I would love that. Amazing. All right, well, uh, We'll be in touch. You. Yeah, yeah. Have Thank a great you for your day. time. Nice to meet you, you, man. Thank you for your time. Hear from you. Yep. Thank you. Woo. Hey, woo. Hey, this is the one, Brian. It's the one. 